There is a world just beyond now where reality rides a razor-thin seam between fact and possibility. Where the laws of the present collide with the crimes of tomorrow. Patrolling these vast outlands is a new breed of lawman. Guarding the fringes of society's frontiers, they are known simply as highwaymen. And this is their story. Are you through? No. I'll also have the pumpkin pie, a hot pastrami sandwich, and a lemonade. Now I'm through. Good. I'd like to have a hamburger and coffee. Sounds good. I'll, I'll have that too. <laughs> well, if you have enough money to pay for all this food, why don't you just fly to New York? Money. I have a feeling I should have asked for separate checks. Seventy-two ways to kill a cop? No, I didn't know that. Twelve of those are totally painless. Four of those can be done with just one hand. Hmm. told you I work for the government. So do we, United States Army. And Colonel Westcourt. Looks like you found someone who belongs to us. Hello, Mac. Hello. You can't let them take me back, Highway. It's all right, Mac. Hello, Dr. Chadway. We're here to help you. Hey, 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 this isn't necessary. He'll go with you, Mac. Go with them. I can't. They're going to terminate me. I heard them. What's he talking about? I don't know. This is hardly the place.
Okay, Highway. The unit patch you described does not exist on any official Army base. DC, I saw it. Let me finish. I said it doesn't exist officially. Unofficially, the boss's private computer has those boys located at some place called Synthicam. And it's hot. I repeat, hot. Doppelganger is a top secret military project. And the word from Winthrop is stay away. Do you copy? Highway. Highway, do you copy? Stay away. Unable to copy. Highway out. Sure that's the place? I followed them. My scanner picked up a homing device. But that had to be how they found them so quickly. Why would they have him bugged? That's what we're going to find out. Come on. partner Jetto. Nice to meet you. I always told me what you can do to a cow. I respect that. You gotta get me out of here. They're planning on killing me in the morning. Well, I hate to think what they're trying to do to you tonight. What is this all about, Mac? All I know is my game. Game? What game? Each of us has been programmed to carry out different criminal activities. Mac, this is the U.S. military. Now, I cannot help you unless you explain to me what's going on here. That's too bad, Highway. I was sort of counting on your help. I understand. And I'm sorry. Gentlemen, it's of vital importance that we know. What did he tell you about this facility? Well, he didn't tell us anything, ma'am. What can you tell us? There's nothing of value to you. During the four or five consecutive life terms you'll be spending in prison. Breaking and entering into a U.S. military facility is a capital offense. Uh... West Court. What? Yes, sir. You're free to go. This is the last time, Highway. You disobeyed a direct order, but there'll be no second chances. Do you hear me? Oh, I hear you. You have no idea the strings that I had to pull in Washington to get you out of there. Don't think we don't appreciate it. Then promise me that you'll forget everything that you saw and heard. Why, what's going on down there? Highway. We promise. Boy, was she mad. I think we'd better lay low for a while. Well, let's see what DC can dig up. What are you going to do? What has to be done? No. Oh. That's murder. Aren't you a little confused, Dr. Chadway? We were dealing with a clone, not a human being. Mac was created in a test tube. Read the newspapers. People are created in test tubes every day has feelings. Yeah, and apparently one of them is to carry out his assignment. How do you know that? According to his implanted homing device, Mac is heading for New York. Do you know what that means? I'm not sure. And neither are you. Maybe there's another explanation. Doctor, political assassination was Mac's primary assignment. His target is in New York City. 
that's just a war game, a training exercise for the CIA. It was never meant to be carried out. Yeah, unfortunately, Mac never seemed to realize that. If we don't stop him, what'll happen to our program? To us? I just can't believe it of Mac. He seems so different from the others. Yeah, of course. The others are completely controllable. Be grateful for that. They're the only ones who can stop Mac and save this mission. Today there's an eye drop that fights redness better than Visine. It's called OcuClear, and you can see the difference eye to eye. An hour later, the Visine eye shows some red. The OcuClear eye is clear. The difference is clear. OcuClear fights redness better, longer than Visine. OcuClear. Of all the cars that come out each year, only one can be the Motor Trend car of the year. For 1988, that one is this one. The hot new Pontiac Grand Prix. Get on the Pontiac and ride! Pontiac ride! The new Grand Prix. Motor Trend's car of the year. You've got to drive it. Get on the Pontiac! Rebuild it! An American tradition continues when the Blue Jays meet the Twins or the Mets face the Phillies. The memories are waiting Saturday. Highway. Yo. I got the information you wanted. Great. Maybe not so great. No, I don't know who's going to say that. How often do you find grown men having a slumber party in green slime? I think you better tell us what you have, D.C. The background on that lady doctor and the colonel, genetic splicing. Now, you said you found fully grown men being incubated in liquid. I'd say you stumbled into the 21st century. Well, what's all this got to do with the army? Soldiers of tomorrow, genetically engineered to be bigger, stronger, with no families to complain to their congressmen about them being used in battle. Now, there may even be some fanatics who consider them expendable. Bad news, DC, but good work. Thanks a lot. Hold on a second, Highway. One more thing. That liquid environment you described suggests an accelerated aging process. Those men could be little more than giant children. Well, that would explain a lot about Mac's behavior. He was like a child, but he knew he was in danger. This is more than dangerous, Highway. It's lethal. You can't get involved. Well, I hear you, DC. Highway over and out. Highway, I see that look in your eye. Where are we really going? New York, New York. <laughs> a special occasion. To a lot of you, it's just one more shift to pull. Another day of risking your butts for too little pay and too little gratitude. Yeah. To some of us, this is the day we've been waiting for a long time. Commander Griggs is coming home. Lieutenant, um, is a guy just getting out of sanitarium uh, usually allowed to carry a gun? 
I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Hey, I don't mean no offense, but what happens if he cracks again? I mean, I was there when the commander emptied his service revolver into that billboard of Clint Eastwood. Are you sure you, the commander, has fully recovered from his mental bird? Into a round of applause, if you will, men. by the opportunity the commissioner has given me in resuming my duties as commander after uh, my uh, leave of absence. I won't let him down. I won't let you down. That's all I have to say. Thank you. All right. All right. It's good to have you home, sir. It's good to be home. Your dog? Yes. What's his name? Fuzzy. That's a nice name. My name's Mac. Thank you. You're nice. Honey, are you okay? Yes, Mommy. Stay away from my daughter. I'm calling the police. Mommy, he's nice. I don't care, honey. You don't talk to strangers. Do you understand? Yes, Mommy. If you're not right, Highway, there's his beacon, plain as day. Yeah, looks like he's in Central Park. Yeah, this is going to be easier than I thought. You're not being very sociable. Get out of my way. Please, did you hear that, boys? She said, please. No! This is a toll bridge. You want to cross the land, you have to pay the man. Look, I'll give you anything you want. Just please let me go. Mommy! Mommy! Shut your kid up! There's only $20 here. You're going to have to do better than that. Please, just don't hurt my baby. Hello. Looks like we got us a hero. Come on, boys. <laughs> About to become a hero sandwich. <laughs> 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 Let's be Mac. Let's get in and out of this town without any fuss. I see no problem with that. You think they're headed the same place we are? Don't worry, Highway. Maybe our boy's taking in the sights. Maybe not. Commander, 
What's the situation, officer? Looks like an attempted mugging of the wife and the daughter of a UN ambassador. How bad? Well, considering a guy passing by helped out, not too bad. But I can't say so much for the uh, muggers. They're in pretty bad shape. So what are you going to be doing while you're here in New York? I need to see the mayor. And the just may want to see you, too. The mayor loves heroes. Boys and girls, please, let's have a little room here for this young, brave man. Well, son, I'm the commander, and you are? Mac. Mac. Mac, Mac over here. here. Hi, wait, you see what I see? Looks like he got in the middle of something. Maybe we should just turn and slip out of here. Jetto, we cannot let the press get a hold of him. Highway, Jetto! I'm sure glad to see that you guys escaped too. Escape? Escape from what? A very dangerous mission. Look, we're all federal marshals, and this man's on special assignment with federal us. Federal marshals? What's the connection here? Let's go. The other guy. What kind of marshals are you? What kind of an assignment are you on here in New York? Yes, I want an answer to that question, too. Sir, this case is strictly confidential. Come on, man. Case? Did he say case? Can you tell us anything about your federal unit? Come on, give me another shot, please. All right, that's good. sir. It's happening to me again. Get my medication. The magic's gone. The minute the lights go out, you fall asleep. It's time to change your bulb to Philips. Philips Longer Life Square Bulbs last 33% longer than ordinary round bulbs. Sir, hmm. would you choose hamburger A, a Wendy's hamburger that's made fresh, or B, one made earlier so it's dry? B, because it's dry like Mom used to make. I remember as a boy, she'd make dry roast beef, dry gravy, the driest turkey you ever tasted, and, and stuffing, dry as a bone. And on birthdays, it would take eight or nine glasses of milk just to wash down the cake, you know? But most people don't like dry food. Yeah? Maybe that's why Dad left. <laughs> most people like the taste of hot and juicy hamburgers, like Wendy's, the best burgers in the business. The Highwayman. Saturday's fun begins with 227 at a special time. Hello, Hollywood. And they're making a movie. I love so many. The comedy continues with Mama's Boy and the Golden Girls. Nobody would dream you have a fear of flying. I'm a dead woman. And on Amen, who's making a move on Velma? The most eligible bachelor in town. Saturday. George Friedman owned a grocery store in St. Elmo and was the kind of guy that everybody knew and loved because he did so much for the people who lived around him. But a little over a year ago, George was murdered inside his store. The community was shocked, not only because of the violent crime in the neighborhood, but also because someone had shot George Friedman. Crime Stoppers solved that murder. Now, that didn't bring George Friedman back, but it did make a difference. It made a difference to me and to the people of St. Elmo. Predicting the weather isn't easy. That's why every Wednesday, Channel 3 meteorologist Paul Barris gets help from a future weather forecaster. There will be some cloudy skies with the temperature of 73 through 76. Each Wednesday on Live at 5.30, you'll meet another Tennessee Valley youngster who may or may not have TV in his future. What do you think is the most important thing you have to know to be a weather forecaster? Your script. Your script. <laughs>
What's script? Brighten your day. Watch Paul's Junior Weather Forecaster each Wednesday on Live at 5.30. Wheel of Fortune, weeknights at 7 on Channel 3. Get out of here, get out of New York and head for friendlier surroundings. Middle East, for instance. There's something bothering me about Mac. Other than he sleeps in a vat of lime jello? Mac came here for a reason. Sir, we need to talk to you about Mac. Shut up. I don't think you quite understand the situation. I know everything I need to know, and there is nothing. Two tumbleweeds from the great out back are going to... Hello. Who? Hello, Mr. Mayor. No, sir, no one told me. No, sir. Oh, yes, yes, we're proud of that young man. <laughs> a medal? Oh, well, that's up to you, sir. Oh, I think he makes a wonderful example. His name? Well, Max, sir. The last name? Uh, can I get back to you on that? Uh, when would this uh, ceremony take place? That soon? Oh, yes, I'm familiar with the laser concert tomorrow night. Oh, he'll be there. And a good night to you, too, Mr. Mayor. There's something not right, isn't there? Yes, sir. There's something about this young hero in our midst that you didn't tell me. Yes, sir. Do you know the penalty in New York for withholding information from a police investigation? Well, it must be the same here as it is anywhere else in the country. Wrong, Leather Bridges. Now, I have been sick. And I... Tell him, Lieutenant. The, the commander is... Stressed out is the word he's groping for. Now, I am capable of acts of violence. We know you're joking. That we like to tell you certain things. I will count to three. Your hero lives in green slime, has no mama or papa, because he was invented by the army. More or less in a nutshell. <laughs> and they locked me up. <laughs> the truth is, sir, we don't know a whole lot about Mac, except he's some kind of experiment of Uncle Sam's. Why do all the government mistakes wind up in my city? We'd like to tell you more. You've told me more than I need to know. Sir, we'd appreciate it if you let us get in touch with our command center. the lives of the family of a U.N. ambassador at the park today. Well, the mayor wants to meet you, too. He'll be back in town tomorrow, and he wants to present you with a decoration for heroism in front of fellow New Yorkers at City Music Hall tomorrow night. And so, mystery man, wherever you are or whoever you are, the mayor will see you tomorrow night. I get to see the mayor. I have authorization from your commissioner to release these two men into my custody. Are you part of this dog and pony act? They work for me. Well, you have my condolences. Then why don't you just release them and I'll be on my way. Well, not so fast. Nobody's going anywhere till I find out how to locate the kid the mayor wants to decorate. Well, that's exactly why I'm here. To find Mac and to turn him over to the army. What did you say? No argument out of you fellas. Now we're going to do what I say or I'm going to leave you here with the commander. Nobody comes in my office and threatens me. Get him out of here. Thank you, Commander. One condition. If you locate him, you notify this office immediately so we can at least maintain a pretext of being informed. Not bad. Not bad at all. Sir? You know, Lieutenant, once you've got control, 
Nothing rattles you anymore. Not even somebody that sleeps in green slime. You believe that nonsense? Of course not. Do you know these federal types? If they're not going to tell you the truth, they're not going to tell you the truth. responsibility don't talk highway listen we're sitting on a time bomb i don't pretend for a minute this isn't all my fault oh we agree on something but we have to find mac he's operating on a war program he's at war mac is at least in his mind you see our creations are trained with the use of war games mac's game is to go to a foreign city in time of war and assassinate its chief executive so what you're saying is new york is a model in his war game. exactly but remember, we're only talking a game, just a, a method of training him. To do what? Our primary mission was the genetic creation of a group of super soldiers. Strong, fearless, obedient. Well, maybe you should have got yourself a dog. We did so well with our army models, we were asked to develop a program for the CIA. So you're trying to tell us that Mac came here to kill somebody. I'm afraid so. Everything he's done leads up to it. Mac is getting a special citation from the mayor of New York City. So? The mayor of New York is his target. feel pretty clean. Mind if I check for a piece? That was nice. Mind if I check for a piece? Have you got any money? No. I knew this was too good to be true. I can get some. Get some. around the corner how about the zoo are you for real no <laughs> honey you want to go to the zoo wherever you want to go i'm your girl boss well, you could drop us at the rig now we could track mac oh, please hurry there are three other clones after him and believe me they're not as friendly as mac no we know they shot up the park with us in it Look, I know I can reach Colonel Westcourt. If I can assure him that you have Mac under control, I know I can talk him into calling off the clones. Yeah, we'll start calling. If I don't see those guys again, it's all right by me. Access time, 23.07. Current time, 23.22. Hey, you got a dime?
sign of him? No, just some bums drinking out of a paper bag and counting money. There's a beacon getting louder. Sounds like he's around here somewhere. <laughs> and leave everybody else inside. Explain this one to that crazy commander. The Highwayman will continue. Everyone's talking about J.C. Penney's Million Dollar Jewelry Sale. One day only, we're putting on the Ritz with 50% off pearls, 30 to 40% off all diamond jewelry, 50% off all 14 karat gold. 25% off better watches and all stone rings. J.C. Penney's Million Dollar Jewelry Sale. One day only, Saturday, April 9th. It'll be the talk of the town. Smarter than ever, J.C. Penney. Pass the strawberries. Why? To put on my cereal. You can't do that. Why not? Because it's just right. So? So they work hard to make it just right. All these crunchy flakes and tasty fruits and nuts and 100% nutrition. Uh-huh. Then if you add strawberries, it won't be just right anymore. Oh, what will it be? One never knows. I know. It'll be just fine. Kellogg's Just Right. For the perfect blend of taste and 100% nutrition, no other cereal is always just right. Dodge Daytona. When you look at its long list of standards, its 770 protection plan. When you consider that Daytona is $346 less than the Ford Mustang LX hatchback, we think you'll agree. When it comes to price and performance, it's gotta be a Dodge. The Dodge Daytona. Just $89.95. Now get up to $1,500 cash back on Daytona models in stock. Sunday on our house, the family faces an earthquake. Get away from that glass! Then on Family Ties, Alex gets caught in a love triangle. So far, a normal evening. And on Day by Day, will Ross learn his lesson when Mom becomes his tutor? I felt like the offspring of a nerd marriage. Come home Sunday. Move to the beat of a different drummer, only on Saturday Night Live. Too much cholesterol can stop the flow of blood to your heart and other vital organs. See your doctor to find out what your cholesterol level is, what it should be, and whether you should take steps to reduce it. Keeping your blood vessels clear and open is at the heart of good health. For a free booklet, write the Will Rogers Institute, White Plains, New York. 
Not you two again. Seems our friend here had a little trouble last night in an east side bar. They tore the place down. We can explain everything. I don't want to hear it. It's about the mayor. What about the mayor? He's marked for an assassination. Oh. By whom? Mac. The black that saved the woman and the kid in the park yesterday. You mean the man who's going to get the mayor's citation tonight? <laughs> now that's gratitude for you. Yeah, well you'll be punching out license plates when the mayor gets killed and they find out you did nothing to stop it. He's a clone programmed to kill. A clone? Genetically grown hybrid. I know it's hard to believe. The CIA has developed a classified program to use these clones to carry out top secret assignments. Top secret? Mum's the word. And they just happen to share this secret with you two? You want me to book them, Chief? I'll call Bellevue first and see if they've got an opening. For them! Who are you? I'm Dr. Chadway. I think I can clear this whole thing up. Did the army verify who I am? Not exactly. What exactly does not exactly mean? It means exactly that they've never heard of any of you and they've never heard of any clones. Oh, that's right. What's right? They always said they'd disavow any knowledge of our existence if we were discovered. Disavow any knowledge of our existence? Sir, will you just call the mayor? Sure I will. I'll just call him up and I'll say, Mr. Mayor, this is your police commander calling. As you know, the one that just got out of the sanitarium. And I've got something to tell you. The guy you're going to give a medal to is going to kill you. Because he's not really a guy, he's a clone. That's it. Lieutenant, lock them all up. Or better yet, call my sanitarium and see if they've got a group plan. Commander here. What is it, Commander? You're all released. Election year. No, 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 Your Honor. It's your life they're thre threatening. Are you following up on it? Oh, of course. Hello, Highway. Glad to 
see you're still all right. How's Jeddo? Fine. But Mac, I, I know why you come here. Good, then you can help me get to see the mayor. me away from my mission. Right now, your mission is to stay alive. Hey, call off your boys, Colonel. I don't think you understand, Highwayman. He's here to kill your new friend. Colonel, you don't have to kill him. I'll make sure he doesn't hurt the mayor. I don't want to harm the mayor. You don't? What gave you that idea? I need to see the mayor to let him know that I've been programmed to kill him. But I can't kill. Colonel, you hear that, Max? Okay. It's not as simple as that, Highwayman. I always knew that Mac couldn't kill. But what he could do was talk. And that's far more damaging to my program than murder. Now that you know about it... at McDonald's, bigger and better than ever. Win food prizes and loads of cash. Walt Disney World vacations, see your shopping spree, <laughs> and hundreds of Oldsmobile Cutlass Supremes, plus a $2 million grand prize. Play Monopoly. This time, it's not just big, it's huge. A few about mounds.
the mid-size Dodge Dakota with new package discounts to save you up to $1,500 plus cash back savings of $750 more. When it's got to be right, it's got to be a Dodge. Friday's the fastest night on television with some fast pranks and fast laughs on Night Court. I've been movie trapped! And it's a fast trip to Mexico. You just ate your last burrito for Beverly Hills Buns. Then it's Don Johnson. I'm just a dumb cop. And Sheena Easton. And I'm a chick singer. In a second look at the wedding of the year. The romantic Miami Vice on one fast night next. Saturday on Hunter. Come on, man, don't shoot! Killed in cold blood. A city explodes. Was this an execution? Only Hunter can stop a bloodbath. Get down! Saturday. Don't give me that sheepdog twang. Strange men in dark jumpsuits were dropping like flies in that theater. New York is dangerous. Never mind. Now I know why they call that Dundee fellow Croc. You, Winter, you are a person of responsibility. You know what it is to command and to have to answer to your superiors. I do, Commander. Well, give me some answers. Answers to what, Commander? Look. Maybe you think it's funny hauling a gurney all around this town all night, but we don't, especially after a 10-hour shift. Now, where are all these victims we're supposed to be hauling down to the morgue? Doc, don't think you're going to walk away from all this. Leave it alone, Highway. There's some things better left unanswered. Not this. I just left a dead man inside that garage. Now he's missing along with all those other clones who just got shot up. I don't know where Mac is. And the others then? They just got blown away. It's not as simple as that, Highway. But Doc, I know dead when I see it. Do you? Yes. There's brain dead, clinical dead. And then sometime in the near future... Clone there's... dead. Am I getting warm? Yes. We're talking a hybrid. A breed of human genetically spliced together to, to represent things that none of us are yet. Are you talking indestructible? No, but resilient beyond anyone's wildest dreams. Like a salamander who grows a new tail. Or a lobster a new claw. Our clones regenerate tissue at least up to a point. It was part of our program to create soldiers of the future. So Mac isn't dead? I don't know. But if he is alive, he's like a little child out there. And he isn't alone. There are three others just like him stalking him. Programmed to kill. We've got to do something, are we? We've got to tell someone. Why? So someone as expedient as Colonel Westcourt can come along, take over the program, hunt Mac down, control him, or even worse than that. No, I'll tell you, Joe, as far as I'm concerned, Mac is dead. What about the others? Are they after him? No, Mac can take care of himself. Isn't that right, Doc? And today, the city of New York mourns the tragic ending to an heroic story. Shortly before he was to receive the city's highest honor for bravery, a young man known only as Mac was shot to death, committing another act of bravery, saving the life of our mayor. On the highway, man. And work it, work it. Come on, work it. A billionaire body club. Are you serious? This is classmate. Ah, uh, upscale. I'm a rich man. Ready to remove the heart? What are you? Well, I'm God. With the power to decide who lives or dies. Don't trust him, Warren! Waste him! Saturday on 227, lights, camera, action. Much to Sandra's dismay, Mary lands a small part in a movie scene. Then, it's a special telecast of Mama's Boy. What's a fellow to do when a sick friend overstays his welcome? Bruce White's and Nancy Walker star in Mama's Boy. 
And there's nothing to fear but fear itself when the Golden Girls face their dreaded phobias. And on Amen, Thelma's out to prove there's life in the old girl yet when she succumbs to the charms of a handsome doctor Saturday.